Well, here we are back here again at my cousin's house, getting a few small cedars for the sawmill. Some of these are going to be real good for the mill. Some are a little small, but like I said on the last video, we'll use them as uh, stacking strips or stacking poles to stack the uh, firewood on. Keep it from drawing moisture up and drawing bugs and stuff into it in the woodshed. Got a real cool story I'll share with you guys one day about uh, Daniel there, my cousin's on the on the Bobcat. And whenever we were kids and had a bunch of dirt bikes and stuff, we and somebody strung up some barbed wire uh, on some property they did not want us to ride on. And uh, I ended up in the, well, I didn't go, well, I had to go to the hospital, but I didn't end up in the hospital. It's a good story though. A lot of blood involved, no guts though. Good thing I worked for a funeral home at a time that actually ran an ambulance service. It's a funny story now. Tell you what, I sure do like that thumb though. This guy's a nice short fella. Looks like seven foot, seven and a half foot maybe. Trouble is the good is somewhat limited whenever you get these out of a uh, a wind blown situation. You know, you gotta get what you can get. Sometimes there's a lot good, sometimes there's a not, not, not a lot good. I kinda like getting logs this way. I don't have to break a sweat. His pins in that uh, in that excavator are pretty worn down there at the base, and also the pivot pin on the on the turret or on the cab is worn pretty good. We were talking the other day about what you got to do to get in there and do some repair work. Another good dump with the PJ trailer. Not quite as good as the first load, but still there's uh, there's enough good material here to make it worth my while. No doubt. The best is yet to come.
couple of things, guys. Well, I tell you, uh, this year is a learned experience using that grapple. I do not have the hang of it yet. It's really hard. you got to get right up to it square and just pick them up just right and everything. But uh, I think, as with anything, in time, you know, you just get a little bit better. Better, anyway. The second thing is, I'm getting a little bit of, um, I'm getting a little stack of red cedar back here for the middle kind of piled up. That's really good. Because, uh, man, there's still some good timber out there standing on end yet. I don't know if he's going to go ahead and want to dig around a little bit and then push them out uh, and then let me stump them. Or if he's going to have me actually cut them down, I don't know yet. I haven't talked to him about it. But I've got it cleaned up, everything that actually had blown down and storm damage. So uh, we got plenty to saw here. But as the summer goes on, and maybe even into the fall, we're going to go ahead and get in there and get the rest of that cedar. And there's some nice cedar in there, there is no doubt. So uh, at any rate, I'm really enjoying that tractor. I really am enjoying that tractor and that gravel. Uh, it really is so much better than just spark. You know, as far as you don't have to worry about balancing or anything, you know. So, yeah, you know, uh, all good things in time. Hey, I come over here to put the tractor away, and I remembered that a, a viewer just told me actually what red cedar really is. Um, I know it's not really red cedar, but that's what everybody calls it in my area. There are a number, a great number of people all in my county that actually sell red cedar lawn furniture. They make uh, red cedar tables. They make... Um, like bar, bar tops and everything all out of red cedar and they always advertise it as red cedar um, and the real name for it is really not is really not cedar uh, I had a viewer point out I think he said it was a Virginia Virginia juniper or something like that but I did know all along that it's actually in the juniper family but if, if I was the advertiser talking about juniper uh, you know in my area nobody that know what the heck he was even talking about so uh, everybody calls it red cedar in this area, so that's why I call it red cedar, okay? you know. So uh, I just thought I better add that right there to the tail end of the video uh, because I do actually call it red cedar all the time. And uh, to clarify it, it is definitely some kind of juniper. So you know what? This is Tractor Man 44, and I'm out of here, guys.